So guys, this is a continuation of our final build uh, wherein we'll be putting the motherboard that we assembled during the live stream to our case, which is the Cooler Master. And let's start. So hi guys, it's me Richmond of Gadget Sidekick and right now we're going to put on our motherboard, our, our radiator and our of course uh, cooling fan together inside this uh, PC, in the, inside this case. So we'll start off first uh, with the motherboard. Okay guys, so right now we'll be mounting our motherboard into this uh, case, okay, so uh, we'll be placing this plate at the back, of course, so we'll be looking something like this, okay, upon, after we sit it, okay, so we have to make sure that all the screws, uh, we'll be screwing it here, 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 and uh, yeah, just have to check it properly when you screw it down. So there's a few screws uh, included in the case. So, so grab your screws. Okay, so there's nine of them that I need to screw. Zoom in around. So there's one here. Okay, if you're screwing it, just make sure you don't tighten it first. Uh, tighten it at the end uh, just to make sure it's all aligned before finalizing it. So, yeah. Double checking. Yes, it's just eight screw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so uh, we have seated all the screws. Right now, it's to tighten it up. If you have a power screw, definitely it will make your life a lot easier than this one. Okay, so right now it's seated properly. So right now we'll be unscrewing this uh, side bracket since we'll be using 
uh, something different from Arctic uh, Arctic cooler. So yeah, we'll be using these ones. So taking it out. So right now we'll be screwing this radiator here. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to tighten all the screws here uh, for our radiator. So next is to put our magnetic mesh back here and it's look looks neat right now okay okay so just like that so then we'll be pressing it and it will uh probably spread itself equally so don't forget that underneath we need to put this one uh, for us to be able to mount uh the this one okay the cooler so placing it like this okay just don't forget to remove this one i almost forgot okay so placing it down so we'll be screwing it so right now we'll be we'll be screwing this one tightly, okay, uh, to mount it on the processor. So to give you a little tidbit on why the radiator should be on top is because that uh, when your wa your water is not on the pump, uh, definitely it will uh, cavitate and of course uh, it will destroy itself. So yeah, just a little bit of tidbit on why this one the radiator should be on top of the pump okay so there you go we have successfully mounted this one congratulations we'll be moving on to the next part so right now we'll be installing our graphics card which is a rtx 3060 here so we need to make sure that it's properly inside the slot before we push it down and lock okay so it's, okay so you heard a snap that's it we're done so for the hard drive bay it's located at the other side of my case so we just need to mount it here then uh, plug in our SATA cable before we snap it back there you go so right now we'll be mounting the other end of our SATA cable to the motherboard just like this let's make sure you find the L side then snap Right now, we'll be grabbing our 24 pin and place it here on the motherboard. This is the biggest cable uh, from your PSU and the biggest slot on your uh, motherboard. So, yeah, just make sure you snap it properly. Okay, there you go. So, there goes the snap. So, right now, we have located our CPU. Okay, so we'll be plugging it on this 8-pin CPU. Snap. So right now we'll be supplying uh, power to the graphics card. So we have the PCIe over here. So we'll be plugging it uh, since we only need eight. So we'll be plugging this in, just eight. So just be careful. Okay, let's plug it in. So right now we'll be plugging in our audio keys okay, for us to be able to use the uh, 3.5 mm audio jack up front on the case. So you can see that it's here. Take a quick closer look. There you go. Audio, audio. There we go. So right now we'll be plugging our USB to the USB 3.2 over here. Let's see, okay. Just be careful. Okay. Should be very careful, otherwise you'll be breaking any pins at any moment. There you go. So we'll be attaching our LED CPU cooler 
to the RGB slot over here. Okay, you can see uh, it's RGB. There. So now for the last part, the front panel, I appreciate Gigabyte for making something like this one, wherein this is probably the most confusing part uh, where you should mount the HD LED, rest, uh, restart button, power button, and power LED. So having this uh, makes life a lot easier. All I need to do is just mount them together on this one, then plug it here. That's pretty easy. Now you can see that all I need to do is just simply push it down and I'm pretty much done. That's it. Now that we're actually done with our build, how about let's fire up our UPS from APC. Let's give it a power. So you can see that it's lit up. Then next is to press the power button. Let's see if our build is successful or not. So here I go. Oh no! Oops, I forgot to turn off the switch. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. So we can see that our build right now, you can see all the RGB LED is light up. See the case fan uh, all around. You can see the radiator fan is also light up. You can see the ballistics, uh, cruiser ballistics memory is also light up. And as well as the uh, GPU is also lit up. What do you think of this gaming PC build of mine? Next stop is of course to try to install Windows. Then of course then try some gaming, try some benchmarking on this gaming PC. So I'm pretty much excited to show you what this thing can do. So I would like also to say a word of thanks again to all my sponsors for this build. Uh, for Cooler Master, for Seagate, for AA Brilliant Machines as well as of course uh, Arctic Cooler, then Boss Danny, Xiaomi Philippines, uh, APC UPS, which is right here in front of me, as well as Rapu Philippines. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here on my channel. And guys, don't forget that my road to 100,000 subscribers is still ongoing. If you haven't joined yet, please do join and of course subscribe. You might win one of three premium phones and hope to see you on my next one. Bye.